Hello friends, in this video we will discuss the simplest way to render a autocomplete text box in MVC Razor. Now we have used key up event of text box to read the input of user. The user input is then queried to list at server side and response is sent back. We have used ajax post to send the user input to action method. Now let's check demo of this autocomplete text box. Now this is my index view and this is my text box. Let's try typing F into this text box. So when I type F, it gets the F option starting from the F and display it, it under the text box. Now let me remove the F. You can see the option has been removed. And I type R. So you can see there are three options available with letter R and it showed it below the text box. So you can see the third option, the second letter is E. And for the first two, the second letter is two. So I type O, you can see the third option removed, only two remained. So this is how it works. And let's see how to implement this autocomplete text box. Now, as we have discussed earlier, we need to capture the key up event of the text box. So on the view, I have rendered a div. I set its ID attribute to target div and I have also rendered input type text inside this div setting its id attribute to target now inside the script tag i have attached a key up event to the text box and i've called a function when this event is triggered and i've fetched the query that is the value entered by the user in the text box into this variable that is query and i'm sending this query that is the value entered by user to get items method now what this method does it basically queries to the server side and gets the option starting from that letter or from the user value and append it to the div so now let's see what happens in this method so this is the query which is the user input now here we are using ajax post to post this user value to the server side so here we are posting it to a remote data method that is action result method which is present in autocomplete text box which is present in autocomplete controller so if you go to autocomplete controller you can see this is the remote data action result method and this is the query that is a user input we are sending it as a parameter and this method has HTTP post as attribute so here we are creating a object of type list of string and here we are checking if it is null or empty that is the user input then we are returning null or empty list here data so now what we are doing if the user value that is a value entered by user is not null or empty then we have declared an array that is we have predefined values entered in this array so this is basically this array is our source source in which we query the user input and here we are checking if array contains any value which starts with the value entered by the user we are getting all that values in this list and we are passing this list using json so what happens this start with starts with method is very important that is link queue method which checks if there is very any value in array data which starts with the value that is in this parameter and those values which starts with that parameter are returned from this method so this response we get in the success of the ajax post so in this success we are checking so this is the response if response dot data is not null data is the name of the parameter we use to send the list so if this data is not null we are proceeding further so this is the target ul so we create a, an ordered list to a div and we use this id so we are checking if already any unordered list is appended to the text box so if it is then we are removing it further we are fetching the data out of the response and here we are appending an unordered list to the target div div inside which the autocomplete text box lies and in the next line what we are doing we are removing the previously added li elements now suppose you entered f so fabric has appended to the div so next time you appended r so what we are doing we are removing the previously appended list so that we can append the new list to the autocomplete text box 
So after removing the already appended list or previously appended list, we are moving further and we are iterating over the response provided by the server that is from the server. So here this is the data and we are iterating over each value in this data and what we are doing to the unordered list we are appending the li elements. So what happens so if you are you have typed r uh, so the server side will return three values that is Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and Ross. So that will be appended to this target URL. So here what we are doing we are also setting the on click event of this li element and we are calling a method that is append text box text to text box and we are sending the li element as a parameter so what does what does this method do so if you check this is the method and this e is the li element so here we are getting the inner text of the li element so if ronaldino is the option selected so ronaldino will be saved in this variable that is text to append and what we are doing we are setting the value attribute of this text box to this value so suppose you typed r and three values shown below the text box so when you click on the ronaldino the ronaldino text will be selected in the text box so this method does this function and finally when the value is appended to the text box we are removing the entire url ul that is an ordered list created so what happens let's see through the demo and we'll explain the code as well so suppose you type r so let's uh, attach a debugger here also so i'm typing r i think debugger is not attached okay i have to start the application again so i'm starting the application again i'm typing r so you can see the query will have r so if i go through the code so list data will have three items you can see three ronaldo ronaldino and ross so if i click fi so you can see there are three options being appended to the list now suppose you want to select ross so you will click on the ross so that append text to text box method is called it will append it to a text box and the ul is ul that is unordered list is removed from the div so this is how the simplest way this is the simplest way of implementing autocomplete text box and so this is how you can do it so in this example or in this video we have used a predefined or hard coded source that is array similarly you can query this to database and get the list of items that is you need to append or uh, to the text box so this is how all about autocomplete text box in MVC Razor. Thank you.